What's happening everyone? It's Abdallah here over at Nindy's at night. We've got the brand new Shovel Knight campaign, which is King of Cards, and I'm over here with Sean. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's <laughs> happening? This is for you. You can narrate what the game's all about okay. while I'm playing it. Sure That'd thing. be great. The all viewers right. are going to yeah. love that. So I'm all over it. Pretty much talking to that. All right. Well, hey, and, you know, uh, it's let's, uh, uh, let's see what we got here. Boom. Okay. All right. Yeah, there we go. Well, okay. you know, uh, another Shovel Knight, another year, another Shovel Knight campaign, right? Yeah. So this is Shovel Knight King of Cards. Uh, you could do easy, medium, or card. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> what, so one of the things in this, is, in this game is that we added a card game uh, that's like a, a mini game that goes throughout the entire campaign and a lot of the story stuff also centers around the card game okay. uh, but King Knight is just like Spectre Knight and Plague Knight before him has a bunch of new mobility you can see there's a new world map and there's going to be way more stages than there were in the other campaigns but the stages are going to be like a little bit shorter okay. King Knight himself you can see he does kind of like a like a bash you could do the bash in the air it's like maybe a little like Wario-esque. Yeah. And then when you bash into something, you go into this spin. Uh, well, I guess not when you spin on a rat. Uh -huh. But you like, can bash in midair and yeah, then you drop. exactly. Okay, that's pretty cool. And if you bash against a wall, then and you get a double jump. Exactly. Right? So you can't infinitely bash into walls and keep on going up. No, no. But you can bash into a wall, then bounce on another enemy, bash on another wall. So every time you get like another bounce, basically. Oh, okay. that's so cool. you can start chaining bashes and bounces throughout the whole stage. And uh, I don't know since. King Knight is a goofy character. We're trying to take a little bit more of like a silly approach to the stages and the design and the story. You can see there are these bouncy pads and like you kind of have a battle where you're bouncing on this on these springs and then like the if you go over to the right then like the knight gets in on the act and it's all just like a little bit more weird oh nice <laughs> that was pretty cool a little bit more like weird and over the top um, Whoa, hold the, on. what is this okay so yeah that's that is the heart hammer at least that's a placeholder name for it i don't know what it's called uh, but if you hit enemies with that hammer it has a slow start of time but you can start to get more hearts out of them oh okay you you have a lot of hearts in this demo but in the final game you're probably going to have a smaller health pool than you did with Shovel Knight or Spectre Knight because the levels are shorter so it's yeah. going to be more like I don't know we've been we've been making so many Shovel Knight games now we wanted to mix it up a little bit so this one has the card game it's a little weird yeah right yeah you got to keep on changing it yeah so uh yeah, these spinning balls, oh, like yeah. I'm like probably like land on one of them. With exactly, the spin, right? much like a lot of the objects in Shovel Knight, you can kind of use them in multiple ways. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and so it's, I don't know, it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be a big variety show. I kind of think of this one like if Spectre Knight was the Majora's Mask, yeah. then this one is like the Super Mario World. Like it has like an enormous variety of objects, enemies from like all the campaigns, as well as a bunch of new ones. And it's built almost like, yeah, like a Mario or like a Donkey Kong country with like these short stages that really focus on a specific concept. So it's going to feel a little different as well. Oh, that's pretty cool. Did, did exactly what you're talking about, like bounce on an enemy and then just go at him again. Right, yeah. So I need some hearts. So you think you just use a heart hammer? Yeah, if you, uh, yeah, this seems like that's a good spot. So yeah, well, you smack an enemy out of there and you can get hearts out of them. Well, that's actually, that's really good. Farm some hearts. <laughs> And does it actually do damage, or what are we doing? I th here? Yeah, I think it does do damage. It does like a right. It does as much damage as a regular hit. Oh yeah, yeah. You drill on them too. Yeah, well they kind of block it from the top. So yeah, it's I don't know. It's a weird little twist on the enemies and objects we already have. Oh, this is the end. This is the end of the level here. All right. Let's give this a shot. Oh, gotta make it. Wow, wow. Gotta make it. Wait, what am I? Oh, you just pull on that <laughs> rat, yeah. take them away. Yeah, you take the rat rope. Nice. Okay, so that was the first level. Now you were talking yeah. about a card game. How does one go and play that? Uh, so the campaign is pretty much going through... Um, go for it. The campaign is going through uh, just like the the overworld maps, right? Yeah. Well, we're, Shovel Knight King of Cards. It's going to take you to way more weird places than the other ones. So okay. there's there's some completely new areas. We're doing new tile set art, um, but it has a lot of places that you've been before, also. Yeah. So it's it's a uh, once again we're just trying to do a remix and really keep it feeling fresh. Sure, sure. Um, so where do I go now? Oh, okay. You can go to start game, yeah, start game. and then you go to. Pretty much the card difficulty. Yeah, easy, medium, or card. <laughs> so right. Strategic mastery with cards. Yeah, and it'll take you through like a tutorial. Okay, so here we are. I guess I'm going in here. Card shack. Card yeah, shack. we're thinking. Card shack for the NPCs. 
We're thinking maybe it'll be like sort of like a toad house where there will be a lot of them on the map round. So you go to a card house and you battle everyone at cards and like maybe, uh, I don't know, it's, it's just it's mainly going to be a mini game that is sprinkled throughout everything but it yeah. also ties into everything so it's it's going to be fun it's just going to be weird right like we we thought we wanted to make a king knight like card game for a very long time <laughs> ever since the first shovel knight we're like and then king knight will have a card game and then you come out with a king knight amiibo card <laughs> yeah right <laughs> oh yeah that would be cool that would be cool to have amiibo cards that's genius yeah, i hope that? it's not too late oh, yeah no, did yeah. amiibo cards ever happen Right, like, oh yeah, we should do that. There is, there is a Shovel Knight card deck, a real one that uh, that fan gamer, yeah, the fan gamer is making. That's like really, really awesome looking. Um, but that's different than this card game. Okay, so okay. explain to me what I'm doing here. I'm okay, so a card. yeah, so put, pick that one. The arrow is pointing to um, uh, the bug. The green arrow uh, is pointing oh, on this one right it, yep. here. Yeah. Oops, sorry. And then okay. yeah, you can put it down there. So the object, yeah, so uh, where the where it's pointing you. So the idea is that you push cards onto that pink gem and the arrows on the cards dictate where the card is going to go or which where you can push it okay so it's going to take you through it take out the iron knight and then you can push that card that you already placed see uh -huh. like there you could push it up but if you press to the left here now you can push it to the right right and when you push it on to the gem now it's like you've claimed it okay but other people could push your card off right just so like he just right pushed there. it off okay <laughs> So you can do the same thing and push him right back off again. Okay, so push him off. Uh, but you can't because this blue arrow is pointing against you. Uh huh. So instead, you can put it in between those two. Oh. And push him off like that. Just shimmy him there. Right. Okay. And you see, there's those blank spots all around the board there, yeah. and so it's kind of like you can push cards off into there, but after that, they're set. Okay. And then the game ends when the middle squares are all full. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so, so it's like yeah, cool. it's a very it's it's a very real strategic card game that's like different in gameplay than so many of the things that we've done before. And then you can either choose getting gold or a new card. You can get a new card, right? Yeah, there we go. Get a new. And what is that? That's a little dragon. That's a dragon. That's a yeah, dragon, right? yeah. Right now, these are kind of placeholder images for right now yeah. that have some of the enemies from the game on them. You got bubble a bubble dragon, dragon card. That's his name. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so th this is, yeah, the bard is taking up a, uh, he's taking up an interest in cards, and now he's going to be the card bard, and, <laughs> and you're going to be able to play cards against, uh, card bard. yeah, against a lot of different characters in the game, and we're kind of, we're still figuring out how it's all working, but it's turning out to be a very bizarre and fun little thing. How do we go thing. back to main menu? You can press, I believe you press start, and then you, oh no, maybe like... He did some sort Rats. of magic trick. There we go. And there you go. Okay, so what else can we see? Like I saw a uh, challenge mode, I saw a little bit of card, I saw some platforming. Then what else do we got? Well you could I mean you can go to the planes, that's the only other stage, but but that's pretty much the demo. You've okay. seen the platforming, you've seen yeah. the cards. That's uh yeah, that's a little awesome. That's so a little dive into King of Cards. When can we expect it and what kind of price point? Do we know any of that well, yet? Well, just like all the other Shovel Knight campaigns, uh, if you already own Shovel Knight, you'll be able to get King of Cards for free. Cool. Uh, and I we're also gonna be selling King of Cards standalone like Spectre Knight. Yeah. If if you want to buy it piecemeal, you can do it like that as well. Sweet. And it's going to be coming out next year, hopefully early next year. Okay, awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you guys saw a first look at Shovel Knight King of Cards. If you guys are excited for it, definitely smash that like button, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much.